Um, okay, uh, so the big thing with this is that you uh, didn't correctly edit the Y translate curve because what should happen is that it should be the slowest at the top and then as it's dropping speed up as to its fastest point when it contacts and then its fastest point and then gradually slow down again but you have it as this smooth curve we can see that right in the graph editor here um, Uh, let's take a look at the graph editor, and here's the Y translate curve, and that's definitely wrong. Um, what you're whoops, you're supposed to um, bend these up so that it um, makes a nice, um, you know, kind of round shape here. Don't worry about that because we won't see that anyway because that's in between frames okay and let's take a look back here and see if you can see the difference see how much bouncier that looks that's much better actually everything else looks fine it's really just that that's the problem um, yeah, and I was selecting the tangents with the left mouse and the middle mouse dragging them to rotate them into position. Um, uh, realistic bounce. Um, now, I like the speed on it, but I think it's um, not losing its um, height enough. If we go to your reference video, it's always great when people post reference videos. So we can see the first height, it's it's like cropped by the top of the screen. It's not the best. And then the second height, it doesn't um, touch the top of the screen. So already it's lost probably you know more than half of the height of the ball in height um that's just really hard to see okay there's that one see how much lower that one was that one was down here so it was kind of above the screen here and then more like here but then if we go to your animation Um, I can't tell. It looks like there's some loss in height, but I think it's just maybe too subtle. Uh, no, there's... Well, this is 9.505, and that's 9, and that's... Okay, so it is going down, but it's it's... I think it's almost imperceptible. I think you really need to, um... you know, make it visible. I think that's a little better. I also might, I mean, its forward momentum is a little weird because I don't know, it just seemed like the um, the other one was moving a lot less. You know, I might just have it move less to be a bit more like the reference. And also the timing is all equal. So what you should do is um, let's uh, select all the curves. And so so here's the first one down up and then down and here's the second one up ends here so i might take out a frame on each side so keys uh, remove in between 
and then one on the down keys remove in between and then here I might remove a couple I can move one and then hit G to do it again and then two on the down G G and then G G maybe a third one well let's see see how it speeds up maybe that's a bit much but you want your subsequent bounces to be faster than the first ones. I might have made them too short. You know, you might have to spread that out a little bit, but you get the idea. So lower each time and less. Each bounce takes less frames each time, but since it's already so fast, it's hard to lose a frame on each side of the bounce. So you might have to spread that out. Maybe like the first the second bounce loses one frame on the downside and the third bounce loses one frame on either side, the up and the down, something like that. Just what difference. Um, okay. Uh, but yeah, generally you got the feel of it, you got the timing, and that's good.